the better term for it is dream yoga. Most of you guys know what the traditional hatha yoga entails, which is a psychophysical activity uh, where one tries to unite their mind, their body, uh, and quote unquote their spirit. The word yoga means to unite, to yoke, to conjoin, to bring together. That's what this word yoga means. And from ancient times, we also have the practice of dream yoga. Dream yoga is... I don't even want to attempt to define it because there's no true definition for it, but let's just try, I guess. Like, let, me, let me attempt to define dream yoga. Dream yoga is... Essentially, what it, what it, what it boils down to is you remaining awake 24-7. Dream yoga paradoxically means there is no dreaming anymore. Dreaming cease, ceases to exist. Now you may say, Dave, that makes no sense. We need our dreams. We need dreams. Dreams is all about creativity. Dreams is all about repairing the body. Dreams is all about uh, intuition and recharging yourself. Yes, that is very true. So we can speak about dreams on a scientific level or we could speak about dreams on a metaphysical level, or we, we could forget the delineations between the two and just talk about dreams. So we, I could go many routes with this conversation. Um, what I'm really interested right now is talking about dreams on a metaphysical level, not so much on the scientific level. Science has gone uh, very far in, in dream analysis and on a larger scope, the study of, uh, of, of sleep, sleeping the various stages of sleeping. Stage one, two, three, slow wave, sleep cycle, REM, non-REM, you know, on and on, etc. A couple months ago I was talking about biphasic sleep, which entails uh, going to sleep two times a day, biphasic, sleeping, uh, taking a critical nap every single day, which power charges your creativity. That's a whole other discussion. And today I kind of want to talk a little bit about dream yoga, or being able to wake up in your dream, so to speak, where you're not dreaming at all, you're literally awake 24-7, your consciousness is awake 24-7, and from what I am feeling and studying and living and experiencing, I believe that this is the ideal, this is the ultimate dream, when all dreams cease to exist. little mate in my system. Oof, that was a sloppy pour. Salud mate. About a year and a half ago, while uh, in Zen meditation in my room here on Long Island, I began to uh, lose sensation in my body. I didn't know what was happening. Quite frankly, I was scared. I started to feel these vibrations. I was like, what the hell is this? I was like, there must be some sort of entity attacking me. I wasn't sure what it was, so I just like broke out of it. The next day, I started researching what this was, which was happening, and uh, I found out about astral projection. That was about a year and a half ago, June 2010. Ever since then, I've been investigating this, what astral projection is. I've been further investigating my lucid dreams, which is something I've been doing for as long as I can remember. And it's led me to this point in time right now where I am uh, totally engaged in this dream topic right now. It's, it's, it's fascinating to me, both on a scientific and metaphysical standpoint. But uh, today I, wanna, I, wanna, I want you guys to to play around with your dreams, to really go into this. What are you dreaming? Can you remember your dreams? Do you have dreams at all? Uh, one exercise which I've learned from this book by Samuel Samuel uh, on Weber from Dream Yoga, really good book. I recommend it. I'll put a link below. He talks about trying to remain aware while you are awake and while you're sleeping. So right now I'm awake, right? Evidently, I'm awake, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to ask myself a, cu a couple questions. Where am I? Why am I in this backyard? Why am I talking in this video? Is there anything out of place? 
Am I dreaming or am I awake? Let me try to fly. Okay, I, I didn't fly, so I'm in this physical three-dimensional reality. I'm not in the astral plane right now. I'm not quote-unquote dreaming. Do this throughout the day. Do this every single day. This builds your awareness. So when you're asleep, you don't waste your time sleeping with a bunch of projections. Most people sleep and all they're doing is projecting. It's not real. Now, I could go into the science about it and say, oh, well, it's real, it's real. I could argue it and say it's real, everything's real. But let's speak practically. The dreams that you're, most people are having are just projections of their, con of their subconscious. They're not conscious. They're not awake while they're dreaming. So if you practice awareness now through meditation or just through contemplation or sitting here breathing, I feel my breath, everything seems to be in place, then that carries over into your dream state. Now this is where it gets a little confusing because when I say dream state, now it's not really a dream state anymore because you're awake in your dreams. You've brushed away all that what we'll call dream material and now you're awake and you could take advantage of the of the cosmos, of everything you want, of this real-time reality. You could literally project out of your physical body and brush away all that dream material if, if you had any dream material and go ahead and do whatever the hell you want to do. Go ahead, study with the masters. Go ahead, fly to the sun. Go ahead, go below the ocean. Go ahead, smoke some cigars. Go ahead and meditate and learn things. Ask questions while you are in another reality. There's nothing spooky about this. There's nothing weird, nothing esoteric. This happens every single night while you are sleeping. But most people, the chitter-chatter throughout their brain, which they're hearing now, oh, you know, I'm just sitting here throughout the day just talking about bullshit in my head. This conversation carries over into your dreams and your subconscious literally creates projections of these chitter-chatters going on in your brain. So you spend the whole night dreaming. You're not awake in your dreams. You should be awake every single night. You should be awake 24-7. This is where you get the whole talk about how masters talk about when they say, when the student says, do you dream? The master says, no, I don't dream. I don't dream. I have no reason for dreams. But what most masters don't further extend that, that answer and say, well, I'm awake during my sleep. A lot of them won't go into it because they don't feel it's necessary and they don't want to confuse a student, uh, and they don't want to go into that line of conversation. Because they feel like it's just not pertinent right now to, to talk about actual projection and talk about being awake in your dreams. Most of them will just say, I don't dream anymore. Now, a lot of you guys might say, well, I don't need to know about this shit. I don't need to know about, why do I need to stay awake in my dreams? Why do I, well, don't think so much about dreams and astral projection and all these terms I'm using. Think more about consciousness, staying awake, remaining aware. If you remain aware 24-7 and you cease to dream, whether you're dreaming in this waking existence right now, because most people are daydreaming, walking around, they think they're awake, but they're not awake. And if you cease to dream while your physical body goes to sleep, then you remain in a state of 24-7 awareness. With that awareness, you are free. Awareness is another word for freedom. When you're free, you're able to disassociate uh, anger, jealousy, greed, racism. You're able to disassociate your emotions from your mind and say, well, all right, I'm pissed off, I'm angry, but that's not me. I'm not going to go kill Kevin because he pissed me off because I'm not that anger in my head. Or I'm not going to go, you know, uh, have sex with, you know, 50 women tomorrow night because I'm not that lust in my head. Or I'm not going to go spend all my money on this one uh, stock because I'm not that uh, avarice that's going on in my head. You see, you're able to disassociate. You're able to be in a state of freedom. And that's not even correct to really say state of freedom. Because anything that's a state is not real. That's what makes it a state. It, it means it's, a, it's, it's something that is a slice, a sliver out of something, which could, which could be compared to something else, which makes it a state. 
any state of mind is not real. We have to get beyond every single state, state of happiness, state of anger, state of fear, state, these are all states. None of them are real. And a great way, or dare I say the only way to do that, is to stop dreaming altogether. Stop dreaming right now in this existence, this 3D existence, and stop dreaming in the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th dimension existences, which I'm not going to go into. And I don't even really care to speak about the, the, the various dimensions. I don't, I don't want to go that route. A lot of people go that route. They're like, all right, the 3D, 4D, 5D, this layer of the astral, that layer of the astral, this layer, that layer of the astral. For me, that's all a game. I don't take that too seriously. I believe anyone could go to any layer at any given point in time, and they need not concern themselves with the different stages of the astral plane and the different little nuances and intricacies of this astral area, that astral area, this entity, that entity, that's just a lot of noise in my opinion. The meat and potatoes of the situation is, wake yourself up. You're the only one that could do it. No book is going to do it. No person's going to do it. No teacher's going to do it for you. No matter how eloquent they are, no matter how phenomenal or influential they are, no country, no mountain, no Himalayas, no Japan, no Argentina, no New York, no amount of money, and no drug is going to do it for you. You have to do it for you. The only work is the work that you do for yourself every single day, which is the real work, alone.